Hello everyone, welcome to our discussion today. Um, so today we'll be talking on the adoption process in Nigeria. A lot of couples um, get married and due to no fault of theirs, they're unable to give birth to their own children and this poses lots of challenges in the marriage, in the family. It is the dream of every couple to have a child of theirs. But sometimes it just happens that things don't work out the way they have planned. So now we have set out based on um, popular demand and request from our followers and subscribers um, the procedure for carrying out a legal adoption in Nigeria. And this is to ensure you don't run foul of the position of the law and what um, you're supposed to do. Because if you do run foul of what you're supposed to do, you may end up having a situation of um, abduction and kidnapping instead of adoption. Adoption is a legal um, placing of a child permanently with a parent other than the biological parent of the child. Now, if you want to legally adopt the child, and you should also understand that you need not be someone who doesn't have a child of your own. You may have children. Or you just want to cater for abandoned kids so you adopt more children so there are so many reasons why people adopt children not just because they don't have children of their own so if you want to adopt a child there are lots of um, processes that you must undergo and every one of these process you must go through them before you can take in the child as a legally adopted child and also you should understand that when a child is legally adopted, the child becomes yours for all intents and purposes. So the child now has all the rights of a biological child, which also of course includes the right to inherit your property upon um, your death. Now the first thing is to um, visit the uh, Ministry of Youth and Social Development. I mean, if you have that ministry in the states where you're located, and then after that, you submit a formal um, letter of request to the permanent secretary um, of that ministry stating that you intend to adopt a child. And of course, you must have also gone to the um, to know whether the um, know the kind of child you want to adopt. Some people would like to adopt a male child, some would like to adopt a female child. And just to quickly point out, if you are a single female, you cannot um, adopt a, a, a male child. And if you are a single male, you cannot adopt um, a female child. And this is done because the child has to be protected from people who may want to take advantage of them. Then after submitting your letter at the ministry, the next is to um, you, you, you have an interview session with the director of social welfare or the representative of the director of social welfare in that ministry. Then after that, you collect your letter of approval to search for an adopted child um, in a government approved home. So all the orphanages you see, the ones that are registered, when you get that letter of approval, you go there to select and to choose the child that you like um, amongst them. Then after that, you pay the prescribed fees. This fee differs from state to state. So, and of course, you should also understand that if you are a foreigner, if you live abroad, you can also um, undertake this procedure of adoption. Then after paying the prescribed fees, you complete the appropriate forms and obtain the list um, of requirements. Then after that, there's going to be a screening. They will go to your house do some um, due diligence to be sure you have what it takes to cater for the child you're adopting in terms of your financial capacity the environment where you stay is this is the environment going to be conducive for the child so you don't want to adopt the child and um, get the child to suffer so so the the ministry has to uh, conduct a due diligence on your house so if you are adopting a child you must make sure your house is in good condition and your place of um, and, and that you have enough resources to take care of the child you intend to adopt then after that there is the mandatory pre-counseling session on appointments so they'll counsel you on how to take care of, of, of a child um, how to make how to ensure that the child being placed under your care 
is well taken care of. Then there will be a panel session where they will ask you relevant questions. And then after that, you are allowed to take the child. You will be given, you will, you, you will now take the child and then that procedure process will be sanctioned by the family court in the respective state. And then after that, you are given a certificate affirming that the child is now yours. Then of course, after that, you still have some post-counseling sessions with the, with the directors at the relevant ministry. Then with that, you have the child adopted as um, yours. You know, so, and, and like I said, there will be a legalization at the family court after three months of the conclusion of this um, entire process. After the ministry has affirmed and concluded that you're fit to adopt the child, and they, they've identified that you have identified the child and they've given you a go-ahead, then the family court in the respective state will now formally make a pronouncement, give an order legalizing the adoption. So this is the process for adoption um, in Nigeria. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to like this comment. You can also ask your questions in the comment section. We'll be there to answer your question. We so hope that this, um, this video, this session, and this discussion was helpful. And we believe that even if you don't need the information, you will share with those who need the information. We wish you well in your um, adoption, child adoption process. And wish you all the best. Thank you.